back, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me to another video of music with Nick. Um, I'm super happy you're here. So today we got a new marathon sponsored by a, a dear subscriber who has been with us for a while now and he has requested amazing stuff um, along these uh, couple of last month months that, that I've been doing this. By myself I mean of course Alexia is more involved than ever but we also decided to do this on the side um, that I'm just gonna you know do requests and just to get the channel you know to get more content going and since it is so hard for her to sit through these long marathons so that's what I'm gonna do today a marathon for a dear friend Narvik thank you Narvik I hope your family is doing better we are still you know Wishing you all the best, sending you good vibes and good energy. Um, I hope everything is working out for you um, perfectly. So I wanted to thank you for this marathon. Today we're going to meet two bands um, that I've never heard. Um, one is called Coliseum and the other one is Coliseum 2. Now, don't um, confuse those bands. They're not the same. Um, they're all basically formed from the same. Uh, that's what Narvik told me. They are not the same band, but they were formed by by the same person. I th I don't know exactly who, but um, that is as much as I know. So um, we're gonna start it off with a longer one. This is Colosseum. This is Valentine Sweet, um, the the album from 1969, and this is a longer song. This is called the Valentine's uh, Sweet, January's Search, February's. February's, I'm sorry, Valentine, and the grass is always greener. 16 minutes and 53 seconds. And then after that, we're going to do the band Coliseum 2. Not to be confused with the first band Coliseum. This is a different band. Um, this is from, let's see. This is from the album Strange New Flesh. And the year is 1976. And we're going to do the song... The, di the Dark Side of the Mog. Okay. All right. Here we go. So without further ado, thank you so much, everyone, for being here. Again, if you like what you hear or what you see, you know, all the stuff that we do, please consider subscribing to the channel. It does help us out tremendously. Um, the subscription and the likes. If you don't like the video, you can dislike the video. No problem. We will see the dislikes. So... I mean, the dislike button does work for something. Um, so even though uh, you guys can see it, we can see it for you. All right. So without further ado, let me get started. And um, perfect. Uh, I'm ready to go. Here we go with the uh, uh, longer with the longer song of Colosseum. Here we go. Thank you so much for being here.
That's one of my favorite licks to do myself. Um, check this out. You hear? I just love the whole classical like thing he was doing. He was like doing like, but like with the the keyboard, the whole like. very like piano driven this like or keyboard driven this track i love the xylophone there was sax but there's i think the keyboard is the main entity here it was so cool um amazing 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 i'm super super um i love this i'm i'm loving this even though it sounds the, the 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 recording might not be the best but it's a 60s recording and there's a lot of stuff going on i don't know if this has been remastered but i don't care it still sounds amazing let's keep going i rewound it a little bit just to get the full experience <laughs>
there's just so much content here. Um, it's definitely progressive rock. Um, let me check something here. I, I can't hear myself. I hope you can hear myself. Hello? I think this is better. I think this, this is the setting I've always had it on. Um, it was just so far. I could hear myself far away. So I think this is better. Let's just keep it. If it sucks, let me know in the comments. But yeah, this is because the drummer sounds like super jazzy, like super jazzy. Um, the keyboardist is very classical influenced or classically trained. But of course, I'm sure he plays jazz as well. But this is more like he plays like, you know, the melodic minor scale. He does a little bit of Bach, like the, the lick that I really like there, like that pedal note. Um, but it's very, I love the chaos, but the chaos creating a lot of harmonious moments as well. The bass is off the charts. I don't hear a guitar, but the sax then with the jazzy lines, you know, so cool, man. Norvik, you know your stuff, man. Uh, I'm just always surprised with, with new stuff. Um, always very epic, uh, long songs. Really cool. Alexa's going to love this because it's... But she's really, like, beginning to get into heavy metal today. <laughs> we went to the gym and she was listening to Dream Theater and she's like, literally sitting there like between a break like she she's like resting and she's like you know like and i'm like what are you listening to and she's like <laughs> and i'm like what and then she shows me her phone dream theater i'm like oh my god i've done it i've done it i achieved the unachievable she hated dream theater she literally hated dream theater and um, this is all thanks to the channel. I have now a wife who loves weird music. I can't say weird, but just not normal. You know, not everybody listens to progressive metal or like jazz fusion or, or just the stuff that we listen here on this channel. So I'm super happy. I'm super stoked. And it's that she also takes this outside of the channel. This is not just the, some game that we're playing here. This is a way of life, and she's living it now. And she listens to Genesis and ELP, like when she's by herself. You know, I mean, she had she literally we had to create a, a second account of uh, Spotify account because we were constantly booting each other off, um, and it was always with you know yes and genesis and she's really like she's there and i'm so happy for her because it's really hard to get into that stuff when you're not born with it or born into it you know i mean she already knew of jazz and her dad is a huge jazz listener and also taught her how to listen to music uh but the whole metal thing and the progressive rock that she missed and when i tried to get her into it Am I going deaf on one ear? I think I have water in one ear. Um, then uh, she did, she rejected it. So now that she's like, you know, embracing it is just a great feeling. Okay, so let's get, continue with this. This is amazing. Thank you, Norvig, again. Super interesting, super weird. I love, I saw you. I saw you um, yesterday. You put something like Vandergraaf Generator Marathon. I was like, oh my, that's the only band I've not been able to like digest. I only heard one song, but that song was like, wow. So uh, it's like the Spiral Archite Architect or Spastic Inc. that I'm going to play you. So you're going to have some trouble digesting that. <laughs> so here we go. <laughs>
she so I, I mean sometimes it even sounded like improvised like there was so much happening um it's quite it's quite and uh i mean it's almost overwhelming because there's so much happening and nobody like um ah oh, the bass was so good nobody kind of like i don't know how to say uh sometimes i feel like they're almost like fighting against each other who's like the more crazy who comes up with crazier stuff but i've seen this of course hundreds and hundreds of times in bands it's just like everybody wants to shine and i mean and then back in those days to record a 16 minute song that was expensive man so i want to be on there you know i i heard a guitar player the bass was playing even chords super cool progressions very proggy, very cool, very unique. I've never even heard of this band. Um, and I'm sure there's musicians on there that I might know. But um, yeah, uh, like I like we do. I mean, uh, some of you guys were like, why don't you look at the, the liner notes? Or why don't you look on Wikipedia? And yes, I do. Because I said, well, we you guys didn't have Wikipedia. So we don't look at the we don't uh, look up the stuff. And then we, they're like, well, we did have the liner notes on the record. But I was like, I'm more like, I want to have this like as a radio experience. I don't want to get spoiled. Like who's on there, you know? So I want to be surprised. So uh, a lot of people don't like that, but that's the way we roll. So, <laughs> okay. So now we're going to go with Coliseum 2, which is a totally different band, not Coliseum. They're a totally different band. But started by the same musician. This is Dark Side of the Mog. And this is a couple of years later. Um, let's see. Yeah, I said 1976. Okay, give me one second. I'll be right back. I do have to do something with my ear because I'm having a little bit of ear pain. So I'll be right back. Give me just one second. Okay, and I'm back. So I just needed to kind of, it's more like a neck pain that I have. It's not the ear. It's just my whole neck. That's kind of like, I don't know, maybe I did some exercises I shouldn't be doing. Um, or I, I just slept. I don't know, like this whole like cold. Um, I'm not sleeping as well as I should be. And I was just like, up all night in bed wanting to sleep. And uh, maybe that's why. So it's not my ear that's hurting. It's my neck. So now I know. Um, better the neck than the ear. Or I don't know. You know. Whatever. Uh, I, I wish I was painless. But okay. Let's go with the next song. Dark Side of the Mug. And here we go. <laughs> Much better recording, um, but yeah, I love that he's again playing. Here we go. <laughs> he's playing. Uh... That scale. Maybe there's the too much like. Yeah, there we go.
this is literally like dream theater in the 70s. This is insane. I love the virtuosity of the keyboard player, but also the guitar player, the drummer, again, super off the charts. So I guess the keyboard player did made Coliseum and then made Coliseum too, because I do hear the same musician, if I'm not totally mistaken, but man, they're awesome. Thank you. Thank you for, because this is, this is the music that inspires me to pick up the guitar and say, I want to get better, you know, like, I want to play that, like, you know, I'm going to play crazy stuff, you know, like hard, hard stuff I'm to play. And, um, yeah. Okay, there was one thing I would really like to hear again. Um, but well, I can't just like, but there was this lick that was very cool that I would, I think he was doing something like this. But he was doing it like super fast. He was like, can't even see the guitar. I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna try and like put the camera lower when when I make videos, um, so you can actually see what I play. I maybe like this, but he was doing that. Like I get sound, but just very fast. Like. Yeah, 
more like this. Is there still delay on it? That's kind of weird. Um, give me a second. Yeah, there shouldn't be any delay on here. Maybe it's this. Who knows? We'll fix it later. Um, yeah, well, this was very, very... In Sorry about that. This was very, very interesting. Um, just like off the charts, crazy. Just like I like it. Um, Narvik, thank you so much for exposing me to this, literally this madness. I loved it. I enjoyed it very much. I'm going to listen to it a lot. And I'm going to try and decipher one of these licks. So thank you so much. And I hope you did enjoy. What do you think of this music? Is this like your first time? Are you a fan? Um, I also wonder what other like reactors would think of this. This is not very easy to digest, you know. I can digest it. I can't, I guess, easier because I'm into the stuff, you know. I'm into, uh, you know, crazy keyboards and, and the classical passages and, you know, arpeggios and all that uh, stuff. So because I like to do that on the guitar, but maybe some people would find this very, very dense, you know. Um, so I, I just, I'm going to look on YouTube if I can find other people reacting to this stuff. Um, or am I the only one, but thank you so much, Narek. This was awesome. I hope everybody did enjoy. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section. Um, give me a like or dislike, whatever you like to do. Please subscribe. It does help out the channel. Check out our Patreon. We have some other stuff. That's uh, basically blocked from YouTube or that we can't do because it's like full albums and stuff. Check that out in the description below. Um, you know, if you wanna, if you wanna um, see more stuff uh, that Alex and I do. Um, and thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you in the next video.